What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we're actually going to do something very different where uh, I was trying to organize some of my collections and I came across uh, some of the PSA cards that I've collected over the years um, that uh, it's not like the super crazy cards, it's just some stuff that I picked up just because I thought they were cool and so I thought I'd share with you uh, just like a stack, couple stacks of them and maybe we'll do this every once in a while to see how it goes. Um, and uh, so what that means is like... Uh, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, just seeing a, um, some different PSA stuff and uh, you want to see more, let me know in the comments or hit that like button just to, uh, and depending on how that goes, maybe we'll do this again. All right, so let's get into it. Um, start the video on the phone and yeah, we have a couple stacks of them and let's see, let's go into, all right, so first we have Legendary Treasures, which is pretty cool, so pretty old card and it's a Black Curium EX PSA 9. Yeah, some of these I just picked up because the art looks looked amazing. And uh, I'm not sure how long these will take, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so then we have uh, XY uh, Xerneas. So the I do find it interesting that the compared to now where the GXs are more like they take up the entire card. Um, in the beginning where the EXs, they kind of, uh, they kind of like took up more than the box the, where the art usually is. And then slowly it kind of grew to where the GXs are today. And then we have a Yveltal EX PSA 9. This one, you uh, you can't really tell what Yveltal looks like, uh, but he kind of just, the art just goes beyond the traditional border. And then I do, I really like this Radiant collection from the Generations. Uh, I think from our last giveaway, I, uh, a couple people did mention Generations and that's a good pick just because this Radiant collection was very interesting uh, with these, I'm not sure what these badges mean, but it seemed like the more of them there are, the kind of like the better the card was. And so this is the Sylveon um, from the Radiant collection and a really nice full art card. All right, this one is really cool from Breakthrough. So this is the Secret Rare Mewtwo and it kind of has like a Magnezone back there. Um, is that a uh, chestnut or something? Um, well, some chessmen. So, yeah, this is a secret rare PSA 9. Very cool full art. So, I was really happy when I picked that one up. And you see, some of them have like a little plastic cover on it, too, which may I'll get into a little bit more. So, this is from Neo Rev, actually, first edition as well. Uh, so, I kind of put this one aside just because I never got to Neo Rev as far as completing sets. And also, this is just a regular rare, it's not a hollow. Uh, however, it's still a very cool card, and maybe one day I will look to, as far as completing sets, get to the Neo Rev set. And kind of along that line, so this is a mischievous promo card, PSA 9. Uh, so when it comes to like non-foil cards, the PSA 9 is not that hard to get. Uh, definitely when you add the foil to it, it makes it much more complicated and so another f uh, card from Neo Rez this one's actually first edition as well but it did get that 8.5 8.5 is a weird thing where like maybe collecting PSA 8s is this thing uh, obviously 9s and then 10s uh, but the 0.5s are very strange I feel like sometimes I wonder if the cards would be worth more if they're 8 versus 8.5 just because not many people go for those 8.5 ones all right, so here we have a breakpoint, Mega Gyarados, really cool. Um, the Mega Gyarados is also red, so it reminds me of the uh, Shining Gyarados. And then from XY Evolutions, we have a Dragonite EX, very cool. Ah, so this is a Japanese Versus series. I actually don't know much about this set, but this Charizard is actually, uh, so this one's only excellent five, and, and to be honest, I don't know why. There must be a crease or something that I'm not aware of. There's a couple, some whitening on the back. Uh, but yeah, these these Versus series, especially the Lance ones, um, they're actually quite uh, quite rare, rare and quite worth a lot if you, get, if you manage to get like a 10. Okay, then we have the Japanese versus Rocket Suicune. It's kind of similar. This one is a hollow first edition, but only a near mint seven. So there's a couple of Japanese, however, most of these are English. And I have another box that maybe we'll get to in a different video where we'll hit a lot of the Japanese. Here we have a base set Gyarados. Uh, so while it's base set, it's really cool, but a excellent five is pretty unremarkable. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of damage on that one. So not a big surprise on that card. 
And then we have a Zekrom EX PSA 10 from Legendary Treasures. Very nice. I expect that one, the value of that to kind of like appreciate over the years. Probably not too quickly, um, but given the um, Legendary Treasures is getting kind of old. And here we have a first edition Flareon PSA 9. I could be wrong, but I actually think when I kind of bought this, it was like, oh man, that's a really good deal. Let me quickly snatch it up. I thought it was a hollow. Um, and then when I realized it wasn't, like it was still a good enough deal where I decided to keep it. And here's another Flareon from the Radiant Collection. Uh, I just think the Radiant Collection is just really cute. Um, just very different. So I picked up a bunch of them. Uh, mostly nines, not many tens. So their price point was pretty good. And basically it's that same card, only it's like a full art and it kind of has Vaporeon and Jolteon there as well. And so yeah, this is another PSA 9. Dark Machamp First Edition, which is really cool, except for it's an excellent 5. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of damage, but I not a whole lot, so I... Imagine there's something that I'm not aware of that really knocked the grade down for this card. I'm not sure. I could not tell from looking at what made it a five. And so this one's really cool. Pop series three. And can't see it's not sure you can't really see the rarity, but it is a Flareon. Uh, so the pop series, uh, in case you didn't know, they're kind of like tournament packs, and each each pack only came with a couple cards. Uh, so. Uh, specific ones can be worth a lot. There's actually a couple gold stars in there that I would love to get at some point. And here we have a Roaring Scark Skies Latios EX PSA 9. Very cool. And so if um, if this these kind of cards, you know, are just something that you're interested in, uh, definitely check them out on eBay. Like the, you know, some of these like XY series, and especially if you don't go for tens, if you if you're okay with nines or eights, you can get them at very cheap prices. Um, so there's one whole stack, and we'll jump into the next one. Actually, maybe we'll jump into this Burning Shadows pack. <clears throat> so not entirely a video without an opening. As always, we'll try to do as long as we can remember, do a Burning Shadows opening, hunting for that Rainbow Rare Charizard. And we'll see if we can't do it today. Alright, we got a Fire Energy, Plumeria, Simapore, Super Scoop Up, Tangela, Dewpiter, Inke, Ralts, Crow Brawler, Alolan Grimer, Reverse, pretty cool, and then a Mudsdale. Okay, so the hunt continues. And so let's get back to some of these PSA cards. Oh, this one's really nice. So first off, it's a Charizard. Really nice. It's a PSA 9. Very cool. However, it is from the National Championship Series. Um, so I believe you had to participate in the tournament to get this. Um, it doesn't have like a place, so it's not clear how you got it. But very cool card nonetheless. And then we have a Venomoth First Edition from Jungle. However, this one's PSA 8, so just missed the mark. Um, I'm working on a 9 collection for first edition. However, probably won't finish an 8 anytime soon, which is why it's with this collection. And here's another one that kind of has like this nice plastic wrap around the cards. Just a little bit of extra protection. And so this is part of my Mewtwo collection. So here we have a Mega Mewtwo EX PSA 9 from Breakthrough. I really like the... Um, the Megas where they kind of had Japanese characters and I think for the Japanese set they had English characters so I thought that was really creative and yep we're just gonna have a bunch of Mewtwo's uh, so this is the Mewtwo EX from that same set PSA 9 again and then uh, this actually I believe is the same car just a different alternate art and so this one is a promo Mewtwo EX again this is a Raichu from base set, PSA 8. Uh, kind of similar vein where very cool card, really happy I have it. However, I'm probably not going to be looking to completing a PSA 8 set. And here we have a PSA 10 uh, Guzzlord. I always thought uh, kind of like uh, when I did play the online game for a while, I did like the Guzzlord deck just because you kind of just have um, a, a bunch of these and then all it is is darkest energy and actually you can win a bunch of games kind of like in a very cheesy strategy um, and we have two of these basically just eat sloppily and then use this big attack uh, so always a big fan of Gardevoir 
And so this is from the Radiant Collection again, Mega Gardevoir EX. The colorings are kind of weird though for this. And uh, Alright, we have this Mega Gyarados. So last one was I think an 8 or 9. And so this one actually is a 10. So it's very cool. Again, you kind of have those Japanese characters. And I believe this is another... So only it's a Scizor. Big fan of Scyther, big fan of Scizor. And this art was just really cool, which... Uh, kind of prompted me to get this card, and it's a PSA 10. Alright, so this is a very old card, 1999, and this is from the Pokemon League that they had in the, in the when the game first launched, and so this is like the Jungle Pikachu art, however, it is a promo that you got from participating in the League, PSA 9, very cool. And here we have an Evolution's Reverse Charizard. Uh, so this card is really cool. I, you know, uh, pulling a Charizard is always nice. However, I do find that getting the reverse to be a little bit more rewarding. I feel like it just has a lot more shine to it and a lot harder to grade, I imagine. And however, this one's only an 8. And then we have a Zygarde Full Art 10. And so this is from the Mega Powers Collection. So this is a promo as well. Uh, but just a very cool card. Zygarde always reminds me of like Megatron or something. And I believe we had a Latios earlier, however, this and this one is a 8.5. But yeah, if it, again, if you like these, the just identify what cards you like, especially if they're kind of like the XY era, you can get them uh, for a very good price. Uh, so this is a Mega Latios EX, PSA 9. And I would suggest kind of like identify what are your favorite, your favorite species and kind of just go for those. And this is the Malamar. And then our last PSA card is a Umbreon. Very cool. Always a big fan of all the evolutions. And so lastly, we have two non-PSA cards. Uh, I don't have many of other kinds of graded cards. However, occasionally I do pick some up. So this one is a Fossil. So we have a Aerodactyl PSA, or no, BGS 8.5 first edition though. Uh, so I thought this was really cool and it got a good price. Uh, BGS is not as big of a deal in Pokemon, um, although it's kind of the opposite of magic. And then this one is a GMA. I have no idea what GMA is. Um, however, I did get it just because this is a really nice card. Uh, probably wouldn't get like a PSA 9 or 10 definitely for sure if I were to like crack it open and send it to PSA. However, this is a very iconic card. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, this is the Pikachu from base set. So I believe in the Shadowless and First Edition, there are certain ones that have yellow and red cheeks. Uh, and actually this one does, GMA doesn't even recognize it as the red cheeks Pikachu. Um, I think PSA 10s go for like $500. Uh, and I definitely don't think this would get a 10, let alone a 9. However, just a very cool piece of history. It's almost like um, trivia as far as like, oh, why? what's so special about this Pikachu? And it is the Red Cheeks. So um, there you guys have it. Just a small part of my PSA collection. And uh, if you think this is something you'd like to see more of, let me know again down in the comments below hit, or hit that like button just so. And uh, if it gets a bunch of likes, maybe we'll continue to do this. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Maybe I'll post some of the, some of the cooler cards on Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.